Hello people, it's Cole. Today we'll be flipping through the Playmobil catalog. This catalog is from 2002. I think this is a great era for Playmobil and a great Playmobil catalog. It's super big, big, huge, bold, colorful images, nice big close-ups of the, the toys. And uh, yeah, I think you're gonna love it. <laughs> I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through. So stay right here with me and let's get started. Okay, so on the cover, well, we're flying high. It's airplane themed. <laughs> There's a commercial airliner in the air, Aeroline. We have like some speeding kind of clouds in the background there. Very, very cool <laughs> visual effect, I think. And there's a pilot down here, a glowing pilot in the corner with a little little luggage with a little luggage tag. So cute. That pilot is very beautifully designed, really, because you can see that his jacket lapels and his tie and his collar are all separate, like molded in pieces. It's not just like a painted overlay. Um, that attention to detail is incredible. I love that. In our bird's eye view of the airport as we're taking off on our plane, we can see down into, there's uh, air traffic control on the top floor. There's like an observation deck with like a little um, binoculars thing. There's a cafe right here on the second floor, the entrance, taxi stand, luggage carts. I This era of Playmobil with these like play sets that are all this like most boring mundane places like the like the post office and the grocery store and the uh, airport is my favorite honestly on the the plane itself you can see in the windows in the, the passengers looking out the window they all got window seats which i always do when i fly always window seats there's some kids in there we have some people in hats dressed up to fly i appreciate that we see the pilot the control panel you can tell that the top roof of the plane will pop off, so you could put everybody in there, but it means the plane is fully enclosed, which is very nice for, uh, for realism. All right, let's get started. Oh boy, all right. <laughs> oh boy, indeed. It's the boys. We're hanging out with the guys. We are doing remote control cars. We're doing, wow, <laughs> airplane play. These radio control cars are very funny. I cannot recall if I've seen those in the past. I probably have seen it, seen them in the past Playmobil catalogs. Not sure, but uh, definitely don't remember this like colorful <laughs> hanging with the boys <laughs> setup. So looks like there's a minivan type of an option, and then there's like an emergency vehicle. It says service 24 hours. So. Lots of storytelling scenarios to be had. There's a light up traffic light. There is, a, looks like a, a gas station kind of playset. Great. And then these humongous uh, radio control controller units. Maybe they just look humongous because these are like little boys, but that that's quite the antenna, isn't it? <laughs> On this side, there's a even littler little boy enjoying the airport. We get a back view of the airport, and I'm sure we'll see it again later later on in the catalog. Here's all of our table of contents down the side, beautifully beautifully color coded with little little head icons for each of the categories, which is so cute. I love that they uh, picked the the maid with that crazy like maid headpiece as the the dollhouse <laughs> representative. <laughs> We get started with uh, baby time. It's Playmobil baby time. Playmobil first smile, a smile from the start. We have a, a baby over here with a, like a top, kind of a spinny top toy with a chonky Playmobil people inside of it. Some rolling around little bead ball things. So basically these are really just kind of standard baby toys, but they all have Playmobil figures kind of in inserted into them to get them from birth. This gets the baby to have an affinity and a allegiance to Playmobil, which is very important for a lifetime relationship. 
So we have some Playmobil people on a string. That is so fun. This would be like a great necklace. <laughs> There's some tub toys. There's some teething rattle type ring things. We have that spinny top, which is pretty great. These Playmobil people in this glass dome holding hands around a tree. Dolphin. Peg. Peg person. <laughs> Stackable figure. That, look how weird that is. It's like a little gnome person. Oh, you can switch out their hats. <laughs> it's like extra big too. I think these are these are new to me. I'm not sure I've seen this level of like super mega baby time in a Playmobil catalog before. So uh, maybe that didn't maybe they didn't keep up with that or something. I don't know, but uh, I think it's fun. This is like what I'm familiar with. I'm familiar with Playmobil one two three, the train, the little flat house with the molded chimney smoke attached to it the like flat imagery like these like isn't this so good oh my god i love the fruit the cherries and the apples and the apple with the worm <laughs> coming out stuck on flat on these trees and flat little bee with a flower you know no small parts we can't be having the babies chowing down on the plane wheel pieces and that's the train if you live here <laughs> you're already close to home no matter where you're at, commuting. Alright, Playmobil, horse and pony ranch. Have a good ride. So much. Wow, this is a lot to see. This is actually really two sets jammed together on one spread. This is horses. This is horse stables. There's, you can see right there, there's like a horse stable banner. And we have horse fun. We're, we're sort of quite dressed to the nines, I have to say, which maybe you would be because, like, if you have horses, you're kind of rich. Equestri equestrian lifestyles. So we're doing, like, fancy straw hats, ribbons, and a little fussy plaid dress, and this uh, kind of crocodile dundee looking guy right here, um, and this groovy girl back here with a fashion belt and a puffer vest beautiful sunflowers love that texture that sunflower sunflower seed texture inside those with the little gate so cute we're doing horse drawn carriage rides up here there's a little baby baby foal oh my god <laughs> all different horse ages to play with baby foal rideable little horse for little miss pris and then adult horses for uh adult playmobile people on this side, it's the the down and dirty farm. This is where we're, we're slopping it up with the pigs. <laughs> we got cows. We have chickens. We have goats. We have a little orange cat. Looks just like Chew on the roof, <laughs> trying to like snatch this dove. This is fun. It's got a working uh, pulley system to like pull up sacks of whatever that is, animal feed, I guess. We're feeding. Some ducks over here. Lively. So many, so many animal pieces. Okay, we're getting into the new speedboat. Limited edition while supplies last. Finish in first place with the new Jeep and speedboat set. Transport the boat to all the races. Speed through the waves with the innovative underwater motor. Electronics, motors, engines. Let's get into it. How does this thing work? Is it really under, is it remote control or is it like a wind up thing? Let's see. It doesn't actually seem to be a remote control thing. I think it maybe is, I guess I don't even know. Does it just go in a straight line? Does it go in a circle? It's innovative, whatever it is, and it does move. Okay, construction. Paving the new road. We are, I mean, it, you know, I don't know. I don't know what these things are. It's a crane or a scoop or a bulldozer or a tow truck or something of this nature. This isn't really my area of expertise, but I do see that this person down here is about to get smashed by that scoop, so that's fun. For realism on the construction site, we are offering a porto potty right there along with some 
signs and things and two construction workers, but it's not funny. I would like to see what's in that porta potty. I would especially like to see if it has um, like a little white like toilet paper insert. It probably does. That's <laughs> that's great. Mmm, modern house for today's children. We're not. This is not Victorian mansion. This is modern for the children of 2002. We get a view of the whole back side across the spread here, along with a view of the front side down in the corner. Um, and there's also a little inserted kind of like atmospheric kind of garden scene to get an idea of how that would look if it built out the whole plants and all this in the car and the carport and whatnot. So this house is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love the colors. I love that it's primary color scheme. I think it's marvelous. I love the exterior sweeping staircase for like realism again. Like you can go upstairs. It's not just a flying up to the second level like, like Barbie does. This is a real functioning household. We come in the front door down here. We have living room set. There's some delicious halved, vertically halved pineapples and a large tray for snacking. They are not peeled though, so get to work on that. In the kitchen, mom is got a bottle of something, getting busy. There's two wine glasses out, uh-oh. You know, it's probably the weekend. Very cute built-in like refrigerator unit. There's a sort of a pantry with shelves on the side and you could put jars on that as we Go up the stairs, our bedroom. It's a one bedroom home, small home, starter home, that's fine. Parents' bed or whatever, adult bed, and then a children's bunk bed. And rather spare up here, really. And then a bathroom with a shower and a toilet and a cute vanity. Love that yellow sink, that's so cool. And yeah, we have these fun, like round dormers. Back down on the first floor, there's a wall, there's like um, accordion, like French doors that lead out to a front porch. Isn't that beautiful? Such a fun shape. I love that tall mansard roof. I love the black caps on these dormers and the window boxes are so good. Everything is lovely. And then all the furniture sets that you could add on are detailed in these little boxes down here. There's a family room that the bed folds out and turns into like a double bed. It's a fold out sofa for when you have guests. There's always too many dolls in the house. You know, there's always way more dolls than there are beds. <laughs> it's like, you can see how many adults are floating around this. The fold out sofa is genius. All right. Remember the guys, they're back. They're here to race ya. Playmobil RC module, new minivan and service vehicle. The boys are going at it with their giant remote controls. Quite a lot of real estate to devoted to just this one thing. I mean, I see that it's brand new, so that's why we're giving it the spotlight, but it's really a really big, big images of this. A lot of empty space to give it some, you can really focus your attention on how fantastic <laughs> these cars are. <laughs> a fun touch that they come, seem to come with one person, one driver, which makes sense. Someone has to drive the car besides you. In the, in the family van, it's this sort of like neat, neatly combed hair, mm, dad type, adult man type, with a little vest on and a somber gray shirt. And in the service vehicle, it's a sexy <laughs> rescuer with rough and tumble, messy hair and a flipped up collar vest and a red spicy shirt and a devil may care attitude. There's the guys again. They are getting all kinds of <laughs> all kinds of page time. So we can think of how how we would play with these remote control cars. Well, we have to drive them through something, through a little townscape, through a gas station, through a little convenience. What would you call this? I guess it's like a fast food restaurant. We're getting French fries and a bottle of something drinking apple juice on the outdoor seating. There's a cute flowering vine thing. 
I guess actually now that I'm looking at this, I think we're supposed to interpret that these are like the same unit, right? The gas station and the convenience store are like one and the same because it has this signage up here. It's like, you know, like when you go to the gas station and it's got like a Taco Bell in it and whatever, Subway. Bleh. This looks more delicious to me than Subway does. So we can fuel up our cars. We can even have the gas station attendant fuel it for us. That's service. The airport, the cover lady, the airport. Travel in style with the Playmobil airport. All right, get into this. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Uh, I guess let's start. Let's go. Let's go sequentially through the order of airport experience. We begin in the airport at the taxi drop. Right there, we come in through security. Duh. It's from 2002, we're post 9/11 here, so let's make sure we have security as our first stop. And then there's a ticket counter with a ticket attendant wearing like a little, you know, like a scarf, like airport. Uniform apparel, love that. We have luggage carts, we have a baggage carousel, there's our arrival and departure times and a screen up above the door. Looks like we're going to Paris, Tokyo, Rome, and Vienna International Airport. On the second floor is a food court. We have a little cafe, beautiful view up the cafe window. Outdoor seating, views with the binocular things airport control tower very up top has that like you know how they have that kind of tilted window i don't know why they do that i guess so you can see more out there playmobile paid attention and did that there's even radio antennas sticking out the top realism love it i mean this is really dialed in we have ads and stuff like city tours fly global airlines sun tours there's signage for you know where the restroom is and where the lookout booth is and where the telephone is we have a luggage trolley and then the plane we're boarding the plane over here there's no um like you know that extending fake hallway thing this is a small airport we're not doing that so we're just walking right up these steps and here's our lovely plane top does indeed come off we can see our fun passengers chugging juice inside delish we're loading down here. It's like a safari guy. Look at his hat. It has like a exotic feather stuck in it. <laughs> this white vest and he's got a camera. We get another close-up view of the pilots with luggage and the, like I said before, the beautifully molded colors and the whole uniform is spotless and perfect as it should be for a professional pilot. Okay. Add-ons. As if you didn't have enough Playmobil stuff, we can add on. More pieces, more accessories, more bits to fill out your story. We have an inserted mini catalog, which I'm always so into these mini catalogs that are stuck in the middle of a larger catalog. We get an idea of what comes or what our uh, add-on items might be. There's a robber, there's some horses, there's a dump scooper, sailboat, crocodiles, cabin, wide genre coverage of all different things. Someone wrote this little letter to us. Dear Playmobil fans, adding to your current Playmobil collection is easy with our add-ons catalog. In it, you will find more than 100 accessories to complete your Playmobil sets. Should you need to replace a broken or missing piece from your set, call 1-800-PLAYMOBIL. Huh. Interesting. Why did I never know that? <laughs> Want to hear a story? When I was a child and I got the Victorian dollhouse dining room, like immediately after getting that and opening it up and setting it, the china cabinet fell on the floor, my china cabinet, and the leg broke off. So it couldn't stand up. It was the back leg and it needed that to stand up. It's a heavy piece of furniture. It's a Victorian china cabinet, heavy, expensive, high quality. Forevermore, this freaking china cabinet would not stand up. We had to hot glue a little another Playmobil piece. I think it was a Playmobil <laughs> egg, <laughs> like a chicken's egg, hot glued to the bottom of that to prop it up. That was broken forever. It's still broken. I still have it and it's still broken. 
I could have just called, well, my mom, could have just called this dang number and had a new thing shipped out and I would have been suffering for my whole life with a broken china cabinet. That's fine. It made me stronger, I'm sure. Built some character. I pushed through. Anyway, back on the subject of, of this. Blowout sale. Here's some things that nobody wants. They are on sale. So let's see. Ford extension walls. Two seals. Three seals. The seals are on sale. <laughs> Not popular. Underwater world. That is cool. With these like suspended fish that are stuck to these uh, little coral seaweed things. Office furniture. It's this. I am into this. I am into office furniture for as a toy. For Playmobil, that price. $3.99 for all this office furniture, including pieces of office paper. In a computer and like a phone or a fax machine? I don't know what that is. Uh, wow. Whew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. What else do we have here? More on sale things. We have some ferns, toadstools, and hairs. Look how cute that is. Mm. I cannot believe how cheap these are. Because you know how beautiful, you know, everything is so perfectly crafted, such high quality. Pigeon loft with sunflowers and little... There's like little birds in there, and it's four dollars. I love that. <laughs> Dollhouse dishes, a full fleet of beautiful octagon-shaped dishes, and then also some red dishes that are more like casual dining in the breakfast nook. These are kind of I can I mean I can see why these are on sale. These are all like sort of odds and ends. Wheelchair, just a wheelchair, no one to sit in it. Uh, dump bins. <laughs> yeah. Lots of animals. A family of wild pigs. Wild foxes, deer, hedgehogs. The wild animals, I, I, I mean, the farm animals are fun. You know, like I love the birds, the geese, that's great. Um... These wild animals are pretty good, too. Those pigs are so cute. Look how cute that little stupid little baby pig is. <laughs> Rock forms, knights, castle pieces. There's a lot of stuff. Pirates and enchanted woods and magic. That's where those toadstools come in. This is wild. This is like, I don't know what that is. Fella. Fella from the forest doing some spooky forest magic. All different random buildings. City Cafe, which is like, has a purple and white color scheme, which I love. Medieval House. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, here's the portable bathroom. Remember that one I was talking about? We get a view inside. It does have a little toilet with a closing lid. The people. The Playmobil people. I can't imagine that you would be hurting for people. I feel like, if anything, everyone has too many Playmobil people. Or at least I did, because you would always get a couple with every set. Okay, maybe I could get into this. Maybe this would be of use to me. Wigs. Wig set. Assorted hair pieces. Long blonde braid. Long brown ponytail. Some short, little short kitty cat wigs. Some bobs. A granny bun wig. That is of interest, particularly to me. Baby time. Big baby time. And then that's the end. Here's our order form, which is very nice. We can use this to order anything from the catalog. They provide that for us. Cut that right out. Mail it in. It's all ready to go. You could insert your check or whatever, and you're, you're on your way. Plus, keychains. Two pilot keychains. Well... This is identified as a pilot. This is identified as a flight attendant. I don't know why we had to go that way with it, but uh, two airline professional keychains, which is, w wouldn't that be a cute gift to give to the pilot in your life or the flight attendant in your life? Okay, Playmobil special. Little, more little people. I always love this. 
section because I always love the, how they have the kind of blurry background to really give you this immersive little keyhole view, immersive window into a narrative to sell you on the idea of this tiny little kit. So what do we have here that's of interest? Household helper. There's a chef holding a whole like <laughs> cooked goose by the neck. Caveman, evil queen. Postman, remember how I was talking about the post office? <laughs> As something that would be a perfect boring Playmobil toy right there. Rescue, emergency, your remote control car can come and save the day. Ready for any emergency, house fire at the, the modern house. We have blaring sirens, we have some people being helped. I don't know if this is, she's holding a bag, so maybe she's like a doctor, she's got a white coat on. Little child with a dog. And we're unloading the ambulance, we're pulling people out of the burning building, out the window. On this long ladder, we're hatcheting open this uh, door over here. And then along with the rescue emergency stuff, comes the hospital, another favorite of mine down here. <laughs> Pediatrician with complete office. Dentist's office with a dust adjustable examination chair. Hell yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you can see from the picture. I can see it here. Uh, this works. The, the water hose sprays water. It talks about how it works down here, but it's a pump, and you can spray water out of this gun into the burning building. I don't know. I would never do that. I would never get my Playmobil toys wet. They have stickers on them. That's nasty. But I'm not fun, so what can I say? Hot Pursuit. Call for action at the police headquarters. It's the police. We're in a hot pursuit. We got sirens. We have motorcycles. We have helicopters. <laughs> we have, what, like snipers? Uh, police dogs. Lots going on. Oh, here's more hospital stuff. <laughs> That's more my speed. Hospital room with a wheeled bed and adjustable headrest. Pediatric nurse, operating room, patient with wheelchair. So it seems as though what we have here is we have this kind of building that could be used for anything. It's not, it's called city house, but really it's like a building that could be a hospital, a police station, a fire station. It could be a lot of different things. Two-story building with working elevator, heliport, and prison cell. So it's not necessarily a police office. You could doll it up that way, but it could also be other things. I suppose, I don't know what else would have a prison cell in it. <laughs> Maybe a shopping mall with an intense security team. Family fun. RC train. Dad's getting involved. So we are playing RC Train. Here's the whole deal, taking up the whole living room. How cute, I love this striped chair, isn't that great? That is so beautiful. And the train tracks are so lengthy. They go out the sliding door to the porch. It's plastic. You can put it outside. Escape from the pirate's prison. <laughs> Pirate stuff. Classic Playmobil pirate stuff. There's our old, like, iconic Playmobil pirate guy up in the crow's nest. Pirate's Prison. This is maybe new to me. I'm not sure if I've seen this. And I definitely don't remember ever seeing these old, like, what is that? Revolutionary War type people with powdered wigs and stuff. Curly f mustaches and all that. There's a pirate guy in prison. He has a like an iron collar on with a big chain attached to it, attached to the wall. Oh my. Sharks, evil looking seagulls. This is a very, very scary place to be. Speaking of dangerous play sets, gold transport. Fort Eagle, the Wild West. This one has an interesting kind of gradient effect with like tan kind of gold color around the edges. We have gold bars flying everywhere out of this stagecoach. There's a 
hot robber guy with some dynamite, some police, like, kind of, I think they look like Confederate soldiers, on some horses. And, uh, you know, we're living for the drama. Battle at the Dragon's Gorge, the castle, incredibly complex system. That is humongous. Drawbridge with a horse that has a whole, like, gown on. I'm not so interested in, like, the weaponry and stuff, but I am interested in what's going on over here, like, in the interior scenes with... Uh, we're drinking, like, big mugs of beer with the kids. We are uh, hanging out the window of our little medieval house, second floor, waving, like, a little flirtatious red handkerchief to get somebody special's attention. Maybe this ghost is who we're trying to lure in. Space. Search for aliens. I did flip through the Playmobil catalog from the year 2000, and that was, space was on the cover of that one. That was like, you can imagine, 2000, it's the future. We're thinking about space and whatever, technology, the world is ending, let's go to space. So here we get to see the space stuff again, two years later, and we're introduced to Aliens, which was not, definitely not part of that set that I saw in that other catalog. I don't, wow, these aliens, <laughs> they're, they're aliens. They have alien heads, and alien eyes, and uh, isn't that funny? I wish I could get a better view of their faces. They all have, they all have these helmets on. I wanna see that head up without any, um, thing covering it up. They kind of look like Ninja Turtles in a way that I don't love. And there's our space station over here. Very little, little connects looking to me, which I guess is fine. I don't know. I do like this holographic solar panel thing on the, the top there. That's nice. Fairy tale castle. Okay. A dream come true. Yes, indeed. Three stories tall. Bedroom up in the tower. Isn't that a fantasy? The royal family down here. So beautiful. And there's so many things going on. It's very busy. Lots of people. We're having a big banquet. There's those sliced in half pineapples again, unpeeled. I guess people really like those around these parts. There's a magical unicorn. We're doing some wishing in a wishing well with a little toad. <laughs> The castle's beautiful, it has a kind of a, it seems to have like a translucent pink purple mm, lattice type of a treatment over the windows, which is not usually, you know, in the, you saw in the modern house, the window was just blown out, open window. This gives it a lot more of a intimate closed in feel and also gives us some pretty light play with that translucent plastic reflecting the light. There's a lot of beautiful kind of clear colored plastics throughout this thing. Look at this throne with these little gem, gem bits around there, kind of a peacock shape. This incredible chandelier is so fun. This incredible woman with this <laughs> big thwarp fan. There's a clear kind of frosted looking harp down here with the harpist. Cue harp music, <laughs> which I have to utilize for this. And the Playmobil dollhouse. The Victorian Mansion dollhouse. We've seen this many a time. I do really like seeing it dressed up as a winter thing. Wonderful. For Christmas with Santa. Not coming in the chimney. Knocking on the door. A little suspicious. Christmas, like lit up Christmas tree with all these presents. Oh my god, this octagon. Or not octagon, but like a... The soccer ball can't roll. It has like hard geometric sides i remember <laughs> that specifically <laughs> there's the housekeeper maid remember her from the table of contents with that crazy bow headpiece we have snow in the form of like polyester batting fluffed all around i just think this is so darling love that all of the rooms have this intense kind of amber glow lighting coming from inside even though they're not you know lit up technically they don't light up 
Christmas cookies. Orange cat. <laughs> okay, last page here. The advent calendar. The dollhouse led us into this Christmas mindset for the advent calendar. So there we go. We can see the advent calendars on the wall with all the little boxes. Um, looks like you can hang the advent calendar pieces on your tree with real lit live like St. Lucia <laughs> Kirsten Larson candles on the tree if you so choose. So let's see, we have several options. Christmas forest, town square holiday, and then there's some Christmas specific kits. Three wise kings, nativity manger, holiday decorations, Santa and reindeer, holiday room. And there's Santa with his reindeer and a like an angel, I guess? Angel girl with a huge trumpet. Happy holidays. Love that. Love this font that they're using. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I love the advent calendar. I, I wanted to get it together for December and see if I could do one. But here's the thing with the advent calendar. When you're an adult and not a child who's having this bought for you, you have to assemble the whole thing yourself. So if, you, if I'm buying this for myself... It doesn't come like that with everything in the little boxes set up, so it's a surprise. I would stuff the boxes myself and then open them again later, knowing what was in them on camera, I suppose. You wouldn't know what was in them, so I guess that's the fun surprise. But isn't that weird? I didn't really think about the fact that, like, <laughs> these are not supposed... They're not intended for adults necessarily, so they're for kids to be a surprise and kind of takes the fun out of it to have it be like you build the whole thing and then you just take it all apart. I don't know. Maybe next year I can get it together for it for December, but I need to plan in advance because those things sell out. Let me tell you, they're still popular even to this day. Okay. On the back. I would like put your name right here and then we have a full checklist with all the item numbers for everything in the catalog and the page that's on. Genius. Check off what you want. Hand it over to uh, to parent or to Santa or whomever, and you get everything you want. I'm sure for uh, for the holidays or your birthday or just because you're such a great kid. I love that. I love that touch. I wonder if they still do this on Playmobil catalogs. I wonder. I sh I should like buy like a more like a current one or try to get a like a the most recent Playmobil catalog I can just to see what that's like. I have no idea what they're really doing with the paper catalog in 2024 so maybe that's something i'll try to work on bottom half of the back a whole fleet of fun playmobil folks from all different types of sets there's a scuba diver girl right in the front with a starfish i i quite like that there's also a guy in like a white like a weird white suit <laughs> he's like working at a what is this, a pawn shop <laughs> with a cash register? I don't know. We're advertising the Playmobil website, I guess, is what we're doing here. Playmobil.com. There's a little, like, email and, like, a search bar. and a... <laughs> It's funny. Uh, pretty simple. I guess that probably at this time the website wasn't, like, s didn't have that many things to do on it. But I love that they're plugging that even all the way back in 2002. Well, there you have it, the Playmobil catalog from 2002. If you liked this video, give it a like. It really helps me out if you do. Let me know, you know, did you see anything in here that you had? Anything strike any memories? Uh, I love reading and responding to your comments every week. I will see you all next week with another new video. So until then, take care. <laughs>